Why, hello to all, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Brother Templar, and last time we left this game, I asked you people what we should do with Chile. Shall we just simply take the nation, um, or shall we make it yet another puppet of the Llama Federation? But you people said that you wanted to simply annex it, so I shall indeed do just that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't want Chile as a puppet anyway, because it's a long nation with a large coastline, and the AI in this game isn't, well, very smart, so it would probably just keep getting invaded and die or something. You know what these uh, AI are like on this game. Not very good. So, either way, have a bit of Chile. Oh yes! Now, back onto the war with Argentina then, and... Where I left off, I was in uh, an interesting situation. Hmm. It's been a couple of weeks since I played this last, and I've, I've played a lot of Hearts of Iron since then, and uh, yeah, hopefully my knowledge of the game will come through now and help the day. It, although it probably won't, knowing my luck. Ah yes, and just as predicted, by taking Chile, we now have been capable of stretching their lines far beyond what they're realistically capable of fighting at, and with a bit of the old aggressive attack, we are making some very good ground, as you can see, very quickly. Well, that and a few extra divisions from our Paraguay and Uruguay brothers. Oh, and France just capitulated. And the fall of Paris, just as it's all going on. Wow, it's all happening now, isn't it? Yes, well, at least the Allies haven't declared war on me yet. Although I somehow doubt that's gonna... Mm. Yes, it's not, it's not gonna be a long way, is it? Um, I mean, after Argentina, I'm planning on either Brazil or Colombia. And, as I'm fascist, I intend on trying to get Venezuela, uh, El Salvador, and the Dominion Republic all on my side. And maybe go for uh, I'll probably go for Brazil next if the Allies don't get too uh, antsy about it. But uh, yeah, so all in all, going well so far. Our breakthroughs have been coming a lot more uh, consistent recently, as our Argentina is very little of uh, what it once was, and now we've been capable of trapping a good part of its force now away from the main fight. So. Hopefully, we'll be able to break the line soon. Uh, although it is true to say that I'm suddenly having some regrets with um, massively enlarging my infantry size um, and uh, motorized. I've also armored. I've also increased and other things. So uh, we've sort of used a lot on our manpower. But it's not to worry, actually. We're not doing too badly as it is. And we can always go up to extensive conscription. That doesn't uh, do too much bad. So yeah, all in all, Argentina should fall uh, probably some point next month, I'd imagine. Let's have a look. And as the last pocket of uh, what little resistance there is left, we now get all of Argentina at our disposal. Uh, quite a lot after where I thought it was going to be. Um, as you can see, it's now June, and I thought we were going to... Oh, for God's sake, shut up! Uh, anyway, um, but yes, I thought we were going to beat them in some point in April, um, at which point we ran out of manpower, and I was like, ah, uh, just let's just uh, wait a bit. Uh, so we did wait a bit. We waited a couple of months, and now we've continued the attack, and uh, victory is inevitable now, I do believe. In fact, the last forces are now just pushing on their capital now. And there we go. Victory over Argentina. I think I'll take all of the states. Thank you very much. Right, uh, so I've just beaten Argentina, as I'm sure you just saw, um, but I've just noticed that my justification for fighting Brazil is done, and I've only got, uh, ten days before I have to declare war? 
Hmm. Okay. I mean, all my forces are still here, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm sure we'll we'll be fine. I'm sure. <laughs> this isn't this, twice. This has happened now. Well, at least this time I've actually beaten my enemy before declaring war against another. So I guess that's something. But uh, before we uh, go into the whole declaring war, I just want to show you my genius strategy. Now you see, I fought Brazil a few times in this game, and in real life, um, several attempts I've had to try and take over Brazil in real life uh, consist of a attacking nation with stick. Doesn't often work, but uh, we'll go into that story another day. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> on a more serious note, um, as you can see, the problem with Brazil is there's a whole lot of this, right? And this is f um, the stupid Amazon rainforest that is really annoying to fight in. Really bad. And if you try to attack with mechanized units inside these rainforests, they actually work slower than infantry. They are terrible. So, what I've decided to do is a plan of twofold nature. So, what I'm going to do is plan one my main field marshal will create a defensive line all the way to the Paraguay's, uh, uh, their country. And then, uh, I will make a second line all around here, which will be the actual attacking line by my general here. Um, and I have ten days to get everyone in position, which is never going to happen, but, uh, eh. oh well, I suppose it was worth a try. But uh, yeah, so this is my ingenious strategy, and also what I've done is I've made it so all of my allies' units, which are basically all just second-rate, crappy sort of units, they're all just going to be part of the defense. They're only basically there for one reason and one reason only, to stand there and look pretty, um, while the main crux of my force, with the actual tank divisions and elite forces, will push on through the plains of south and east Brazil and up to here where we'll take all of the important positions and hopefully capitulate Brazil. I mean, it's easier said than done that really, isn't it? But hey, you never know. Maybe, just maybe, as my third attempt to try and take over Brazil, because I've tried fighting on multiple occasions, this might actually just yield some results. Alright, it appears to be Judgment Day. I've had my 10 days of preparation that consist of making every single one of my units immediately use infrastructure to get to the front lines as fast as humanly possible. And, well, uh, my second army is about in position, kind of. They're not too bad for these, I'm not too concerned about them. Uh, it's it's this, this, this division I'm, I'm sort of worried about. Uh, yeah, they're dead miles away. So, I've sort of thrown in some new uh, recruits to try and bulk up our lines and uh, as some kind of ruse, so then the enemy might think we actually have an army here, when in reality we uh, sort of very much don't. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing for it. Uh, that's the wrong button. I'm, I'm, I'm very intellectual, you know. Did, did you know that? Uh, yeah, so there we go. Declare war against Brazil. Now, the only thing I can hope is that they won't join any alliances and America will not get involved. Oh, thank God. When I saw that battleship appear, I thought that was about to say... Oh, the USA has joined the fight. I was about to cry. Oh, but look. At least none of the Allies have actually joined them, so... So far, we're alright. Alright, well, initial pushes seem to have actually been quite successful. Uh, yeah, actually, it appears that Brazil doesn't actually have a very big army, 1945, um, you know, in comparison to my own 46. So, I do dwarf them um, in size of the military, and they have to spread their entire force all the way down here, when I only have to sort of thinly spread here and then mass spread down the south so I can just push through. So yeah, this is actually going pretty well. Um, although, in saying that, I have actually put uh, my first army uh, to attack, uh, but only a sort of standard attack, and the only reason for that 
is so then I can keep pressure up here so they can't reinforce the south. Uh, or, as l not, or at least not as much as they normally would. Um, but the other thing I've done is I've started justifying against Haiti. And you might say, why are you justifying against Haiti? That's really stupid. But, you see, the way you get allies on this game if they don't want to join you because you're in a war or you're fighting people who are stronger than them is by making them like you more, and the only real way of doing that is by declaring war against nations they don't like. So, if you look at uh, El Salvador, Dominion Republic, and Venezuela here, you'll see that all of those nations, well, actually, no, you can't see it, but they all don't like Haiti, uh, and Colombia, and Panama, and Costa Rica, and they, they, they hate all of these countries. So, if you declare war against them, they'll like you more. As you can see, I'm still pretty far away from them joining, but if I declare war against Haiti, and maybe I know Hunt Jores or some other crappy countries that can't do anything against me, they will eventually ally with me as time goes on. So yeah, that's the plan. Oh, I've just realised that, um, well, I mean, I was wondering why my allies weren't doing anything. They were just sitting around doing nothing. And I was like, well, why, why are they not doing anything? You know, like, this Paraguay is literally bordering them. Why... Why can't I attack from their land? Why are they not attacking? What's happening here? Why am I not pushing up here? And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. They're not part of the war. <laughs> so now I can actually use their land. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. And just like that, Rio falls. Give it a second here. Hang on. Uh, wait. Now i got to get to it. Hang on. Give me a moment here. Uh, there we go, right. So yes, uh, their capital has now fallen. And honestly, this has been actually a pretty big walkover. Turns out I'm a better tactician than I thought I was. Yeah, that attack was actually highly successful. We were capable of moving over the plains very quickly, using our motored and mechanized forces uh, quite quickly. And already Brazil is borderline giving up, so... Yeah, just to probably a couple more months, and all of Brazil will be in my control. And then the real fun starts. Ah, there we are. Justification for conquering Haiti is finished. So now, as I declare war against them, we now have a look at uh, our allies and see what they're feeling like. And as you can see, uh, Dominican Republic is hostile towards Haiti, so now I've got an extra 20 points. Uh, and actually, I'm not very good friends with them at the moment. So let me just guarantee the independence of all these nations. Because, you know, I want to keep these nations independent. Uh, and as you can see, they are... So yeah, about, if I declare war against one more nation in this area, I will undoubtedly um, cause them all to ally with me. And I believe I've chosen just the right one for the job. Colombia. Oh, yes. We're going to have some good coffee tonight. Ah, um, alright, so it's been a, f you know, a couple of days or, or so, and, um, ah, ah, yeah, this isn't, this, this isn't good, um, unfortunately, but, uh, hopefully with any luck we'll be able to beat them. Uh, no, there's no way of beating them. Ah, uh, well, bollocks. This is about to get pretty messy. And just like that, Brazil falls. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I was getting really worried towards the end that Brazil might join the Allies, which would make this very, very awkward. Uh, but they didn't, luckily, so that's good. But now, what shall I take of Brazil? And, well, I don't want to... I want Brazil. I just want to annex it, so... Um, I will I will just annex Brazil. But I do sort of want to give some to my uh, little puppets here, so... I'll tell you what. I'll say... Uruguay, you are... Wait, what? Give score. Oh, really? I can give them score? Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give U um, Uruguay 
this uh, the Rio Grande Sol and the Santa uh, Catarina will go to Paraguay. Although that look ugly as hell. Mm, that look even worse. Hmm, quite the predicament, yes. Maybe I should give them this bit of land. No, 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 I, I shouldn't be too uh, generous to them. Yeah, they get these two bits of land. They've got like 3 million, 2 million, I think, population. So they've got a lot. And I get the rest. So I will take the rest then. If the game lets me. No, 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 no not, not including them. Oh, for God's sake. Hang on, give me a second there. Alright, there we go. So, as you can see, I have now united my two little puppets by giving them little bits of uh, Brazil, and I've uh, I've sort of taken most of it, it must be said. But, ah, well. Although, people, I do just want to say, um, if you people think I should give them more, if you think they deserve more land, say, and, I, and I'll, I'll be more than happy to give them some more land. Uh, I mean, there's two reasons why I gave him more land, because number one, uh, Paraguay's on, what, scraping the barrel? Oh, that was the wrong button. Hang on, give me a second. Yeah, they're on scraping the barrel, and they're also on scraping the barrel, because unfortunately the AI on this game doesn't understand what and having a good economy is, and often screw themselves over by doing that. Still on civilian economy as well, what, what are you doing? But anyway, uh, so yes, this is so far what it looks like at the moment. Uh, probably going to get invaded by the Allies any second now, as I've pretty much all the Allies have now declared war on me. Uh, great. Wait, hang on. Poland? What Poland? And what... What Luxembourg? What... Oh, God, this game hurts my brain. It really does. But anyway, uh, yeah, so all in all, it's going well so far. I guess. Well, now that I'm at war with uh, France, the Netherlands and the United Kingdom, their little provinces they own up here are sort of awkwardly here now, so now I've got to deal with them before I can continue on my way. And the Netherlands are being particularly annoying. I mean, look at them. A little truck. Netherlands, don't. Netherlands, don't. Don't take my land, Netherlands. Netherlands. Ne Ne Netherlands! Oh, for God's sake. Hang on, let me just uh, deal with this little pest. Huh, we must ride behind the course. Absolutely. Uh, don't worry, this time we do actually have enough time to get ready to invade Colombia. I made sure this time. There you go. I'm even learning. Would you look at that? Well, much has changed over uh, the time of this game. Such as the Spanish now sending an impressive four divisions to help me out. Although, as they are Spanish, in traditional fashion, they're, uh, well, not doing anything. Probably sleeping during the middle of the day, as is the way with the Spanish. So that's good. Uh, I'm sort of doing something here. That's good. Uh, justification for Colombia's done. Which isn't as good. This battle appeared to me way longer than I thought it was going to. So there you go, me uh, failing as per usual. And the German Reich has declared war on uh, the Soviet Union. And, as per usual, they are losing quite badly. Because I don't know what it is with this game. And please tell me I'm not the only person that has this problem. But just Germany always loses immediately against Russia. Like, unless I specifically like take a part in this conflict. Germany, it's rare for them to survive longer than 1942. 1943 to push, but by that point, the Reich is destroyed, as is all their allies, and just... <sighs> it really needs to be fixed, because Germany always losing in the Soviet Union way too quickly. Uh, but yes, back on to uh, South America, I suppose, and uh, yeah. So uh, I'll get back to you once something happens. Times have changed, and although things haven't got that much more interesting, uh, I have now finished my mass assault doctrine all the way to the bottom now, so good, I can now prioritize on more important matters, such as, um, level 2 destroyer. Yep, I'm definitely not going to do that. 
I mean, is it just me, or, just, or are destroyers absolutely useless in this game? And I found submarines to, other than for convoy raiding, pretty much useless as well. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't like them very much, no. Well, I ran out of time on the justification for taking over Colombia. Um, so I just, what I did was uh, I just sort of told these people to stand around and wait for them all to starve because I've sort of realized that they only have one dock left and I'm sort of imagining, knowing the intelligence of the AI, that it's gonna stay at a level one naval base like this one. Uh, and yeah, and this one as well. It's gonna be a level one. They are going to run out of equipment. And then I'll just attack them and beat them easily, I hope. Uh, but while that's all going on, I've sent all of my mountain divisions over here, um, thinking that they would have to hold out off the entire Colombian attack, but it turns out that Venezuela and the few Spanish who are here have actually now started doing things, and they're actually probably going to win for us now, so, eh, all in all, I can't complain, really. Another interesting fact I just realised is, um, well, Surname, which is this place, um, was called the, uh, capital of the Netherlands. So I was sort of, you know, I didn't really think much of it, but now I think about it, I suddenly realised they have a fleet just sitting there doing nothing for ages, and I was w sort of wondering what it was doing. Then I realised this is the last piece of land they own, isn't it? I don't actually think they own any land near enough for them to put their ships in, and they're not smart enough to use an allied dock. So they're just sort of sitting outside their old uh, dockyard, just sort of waiting. Yeah, I... yeah. <laughs> oh, Netherlands, you do make me laugh. Speaking of things that make you laugh, I've also just realised that for my two puppets, which are puppets, mind you, they will not give me control of states. Can you believe it? They're my puppet. They're supposed to do whatever I tell them to do. But if I try to ask for some um, control of some states, they're like, no, they won't have it. Positive 21, negative 2020. Because apparently they don't have enough uh, occupied territory to want to give any away, and they think that handing me occupation would give me an unfair share of occupied territory. What? They're my poor! <laughs> what are you on about? Oh, but they'll accept it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, if I want to give them control of a state, I want to point out they have a base reluctance. I'm... So there's genuinely... I could go up to them and say, here's some free land for nothing, and they'll be like, nah, nah, we, we don't we don't want any of that land. We, you know, we, we're really reluctant to take that land for free. What? <laughs> oh, but the best part of all of this, though, is the fact that the 21 positive points is that Uruguay trusts the judgment of fellow faction members. So they trust my judgment, but they're not willing to give me anything even though they're my puppet and they're supposed to do whatever I say. <sighs> oh, Paradox, you do make me laugh. And with that, I'm probably going to have to, um, well, end this bout now, really. The video's gone on for too long as it is. It's, what, 22, 23 minutes now? Yeah, this is, that's a, this is a bit too long for these videos. I normally aim for about 15 minutes. Not quite 22, but I got very carried away because this game is a lot of fun. Uh, and I just, I just didn't want to have to stop playing, really. So, uh, yes, I thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and uh, do be sure to tell me if you think that uh, Uruguay and Paraguay deserve any more land. I could always give them a little bit of this or this or something, and they can make their little empires or whatever they want to do, how cute that is. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's all there really is to it. So I thank you very much for watching, do make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, I say thank you very much, and long live the Llama Federation.